In this video, we're going to show you how you can configure Burp to use SAML-based SSO when you're using Azure Active Directory as your IDP. Now, Microsoft have recently rebranded Azure Active Directory to Microsoft Entra. In this video, we're going to be using both terms interchangeably. So before you start, you'll need to make sure that your web server URL within Burp settings includes both the protocol and port information. If you need help doing this, you can see our documentation pages on how you can do so. The first thing we're going to do is add Burp to your trusted applications. To do this, you'll need to log into Burp as an administrator, and then from the settings menu, click integrations. We're then going to scroll down to SAML and click configure. Once we're on this page, we're going to go to the Microsoft Entra website and find the application which we want to integrate with Burp. To do this, you can go to Identity, Applications, and then Enterprise Applications, and then find your application in the list. Under Setup Single Sign-On, we're going to click Get Started, and then we're going to choose SAML as the SSO method. At this point, we need to copy some configuration from Burp to put into this configuration page. To do this, we can go to Enterprise, copy the relying party trust identifier, and paste it as the identifier entity ID field. We're then going to copy the relying party service URL and paste it as the reply URL. We're then going to save this configuration. And once it's saved, we're going to close this dialog and then close this dialog and click no, I'll test later. We're then going to download the Federation Metadata XML file from the SAML Certificates section. This file contains some information which we can use in Burp to fill out the fields for the SAML configuration. Once you've downloaded it, we're going to go back to Burp and then type in the company name to show in the login field within Burp. So I'm just going to type Portsburger here. And then under SAML configuration, I'm going to click Import Metadata and then choose the file I just downloaded. If you want to use single sign-out, you'll need to put in the service provider certificate and the service provider private key. We're not going to use it in the demo, so I'm just going to toggle this off and then click Save. At this point, we need to configure how Azure should send the groups over to Burp. To do this, we're going to go back to Microsoft Entra, scroll to Attributes and Claims and click Edit, and then click Add a Group Claim. You'll need to choose which groups should be returned in the claim. I'm just going to choose all groups here. Now, if your Active Directory is on-premise, you're going to need to change this source attribute field to the SAM account name. If your users are managed directly in Azure Active Directory, this will need to be Group ID. My users are managed in Azure Active Directory, so I'm going to click Group ID. For advanced options, we're going to enable that and then click Customize the name of the group claim. The name is going to be Group with a capital G, and the namespace is going to be HTTP colon slash slash schemas.xmlsoap.org forward slash claims. I'm then going to save this configuration, and then I'm going to go back to Burp and sign out. At this point, you can see the option to sign in with a company name that we provided before. And then I'm going to click Login. I'll be redirected through the Microsoft SSO flow. And then you can see straight away that I've been signed in. And that is how you integrate Burp with Azure Active Directory for summer-based SSO.